Hallelujah. Glory be to God, brothers and sisters in the Lord. You are all welcome today in the name of Jesus. I want to bring today a healing uh, session and I want to talk a little bit about what has already been done. It is already finished when Jesus Christ went on the cross. He said it is finished. The work is already done. Healing is already done. Amen. Deliverance is already done. The right standing with God is already done. Amen. In the name of Jesus. So today you will be seeing, I'm just going to point to you, hear the cross. Why I mean it's already done. The Bible speak about that in the book of Hebrews, um, Hebrews uh, 4. He said the work was done already before the foundation of the world of the world but only those who believe can enter into god's rest those who believe the gospel and mix it with faith in their heart can enter into god's rest here is the cross this is the basis of the cross here the foundation where everyone who come to the new creation will become a new creation or born again christian have to pass through the cross and before the cross the whole old testament was types and shadow pointing to jesus christ to go to the cross since from genesis when god told the devil the serpent he said the seed of this woman shall bruise the head of the serpent and he said that the serpent will bruise his heels. And that was the meaning which the Bible talk about that today in the book of Romans. It's talk today again, the room, a book of Romans 16, verse um, 20. It says that, that the God of peace shall bruise Satan under our feet shortly. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And then in Isaiah 53, the Bible talk again there, say he was wounded, Jesus Christ, for our transaggression, that means for our sins. He was bruised for our iniquities. Iniquity is a sin that runs in your bloodline. That's why you see some people are sick of cancer, the, the whole family sick of cancer, or high blood pressure, or they're sick of uh, diabetes, the whole family, or dementia, or sclerosphenia, or something. It's because it's iniquity that flow in the bloodline. The, the Bible talk here in Isaiah says, He was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquity. All the chastisement that brought us peace was laid upon the Lord Jesus Christ. So that bruising now that happened to Jesus was for our sin, was for our transgression. But Isaiah was just pointing to the cross. He had all the apostles, they were here all pointing to the cross. The disciples, the apostles, Jesus Christ himself, everyone was looking to the cross. Now everyone, they were pointing everything to the cross. That Jesus, When Jesus goes to the cross, all this will be accomplished. If you read the book of um, if you read the book of uh, Luke 18, it was also prophesying what was also spoken in Isaiah 61. Then Luke now came and prophesied it. Let me show you Luke Luke 4. He said, the spirit of the Lord, Luke 4, 18. The spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted and to preach deliverance to the captive, the recovery of sight to the blind, and to set at liberty all those that are bruised. Jesus Christ, now hear all the apostles, Jesus himself, his apostles, the disciples, the prophet, every, everybody, Abraham and Noah, everybody in the old covenant, they were all looking to the day where the cross will happen. Because the Bible says that it already happened before the foundation of the world in the book of Hebrews, Hebrews 4. But now physically, Jesus Christ hasn't gone to the cross, but physically 2,000 years ago, before the cross, Jesus Christ now was on this side. All these apostles that were looking here, the whole covenant, everybody was looking to the cross. So all what was written like in Isaiah 53 was types and shadow pointing to the cross. 
So now this was before the cross. The book of Matthew, Luke, John, all those book them, Mark, it was before the cross. It's still under the old covenant. Because Jesus Christ who is the who who is the who, who is the one who's supposed to die has not gone to the cross yet. The Bible talk about that in Hebrews 9. The testator has not gone to the cross yet. And then here we are standing on this side. The work has already been done. We already passed through the cross. We are crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, we live. It is not us who live again, but it is Christ that lives in us. So we came here to the cross. We died with the Lord Jesus. We were crucified together with him. We were raised together with him, the resurrection. And we are standing on this other side of the cross. It is already done. The work is already finished. We are now looking for Christ's return. We are now looking for the rapture. So we set our eyes on things above, not on the things on this earth, because our citizenship is in heaven. Amen? Because now we die, our life is in Christ, and Christ is in God. So now this is after the cross. We are all here on this side, if we are born again Christian. Everyone who is a born again Christian is already here. So Second Peter said that he himself took our sin on his own body on the tree that we should be dead to sin and live unto righteousness and by his wounds we were healed we were already here two thousand years ago jesus christ died two thousand years ago so now when you come to christ you have to believe for all these things to be activated in your life it is already done the bible said that God was in Christ reconciling the world back to himself. When he went to the cross and died, Jesus Christ died for us. So the work has already been done. It is already done. It is finished. Jesus said it is finished. It was finished 2,000 years ago. It was in 2,000 years ago Jesus took all our sin on his own body because God does not live in time. So that is why it is already finished. So now it is you to activate it into your life so we are on this side of the cross jesus was wounded for our transgression he was bruised for our iniquity the chastisement that brought us peace was laid upon him all his past tense and by his wounds we were healed and if we were healed we are healed today so second peter peter was prophesying the same scripture what was written in isaiah 53 even Matthew, he quote the same scripture that Jesus Christ took himself took our infirmity and he bore our sicknesses. So that's why he was prophesying Isaiah 53. So because Isaiah 53 was pointing to the cross, what Jesus had done already on Calvary, it is already done. Healing has already be done healing is already done by his wounds we were here deliverance has already taken place he delivered us from the authority of darkness and translated us into the kingdom of his dear son in whom we have redemption amen in the name of jesus christ righteousness has already taken place god made jesus to be seen for us who knew no sin so that we should be made the righteousness of god in christ jesus so righteousness or right standing with god has already taken place when you are a born again christian the day you start to believe it then you can enter into god's rest and then you can get your healing all what is pertained to to godliness and life is already done on the cross of Calvary. We are not standing on the side of this, of this side of the cross again. We are not all covenant Christians. We are now the new creation. We are standing on the other side of this cross. The work is already finished here. This is where we stand. I see so many Christians who are born again Christians still standing on this side. Their identity is still in the old covenant and in the law. We are not under the law again. We are under God's grace and favor. We are not old covenant Christians. The cross has already taken place. Because if righteousness come by works, then Christ, Christ went to the cross and died in vain. But righteousness come by faith 
in Christ Jesus. Justification comes by faith. The faith that we have, what we have finished already on Calvary. The work is, it is already done. Amen. In Jesus' name. It is not because you act right or it's not because you pray. It's not because you are fasting. It is not because you relate to uh, you, you 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 relate to a charity. You have an organization. They did something. That is what will make you right stand. That is that is why will give you healing. No, it is because you relate to the finished work of the cross. That is where you will receive your healing. Everything you will get from God, you will get it through what Jesus Christ has done already. You will get healing because of what Jesus has already done if you believe what you mix your faith with what jesus finished on calvary that is when god will give you the healing it's not because of your good works it's not because today you did something good and tomorrow you did not do something good. no righteousness you obtain it as a free gift it is you didn't work for it so you cannot lose your righteousness you cannot lose your right standing except you go to save another god except you go back to your wallow or to your mouth you reject jesus christ if not it is already finished amen in the name of jesus christ the book of galatians 2 was saying that that righteousness we should remember let me go to galatians 2 galatians 2 Galatians 2 16 says that knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by faith in Jesus Christ, even we have believed in Jesus Christ, that we might be justified by the faith of Christ, not by the works of the law. For by the works of the law shall no man be justified. And then you will see verse 20 say, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. It is not I that live, but Christ that live in me. The life I live not in the flesh. I live by the faith of the son of god who loved me and he gave himself for me so i do not frustrate the grace of god in my life for if righteousness come by the law then christ died in vain amen in the name of the lord jesus christ so a person is made right it's not because of the work that you did but it's because of the work of the cross not because of the works of the lord so what did jesus do jesus christ went to the cross for us jesus died here on the cross for our sin and the problem is sin satan will afflict you because of sin so now if you know that jesus took your sin on his own body on the tree this is a tree here and died for your sin and now then you and uh, that you should live now unto righteousness because now you are the righteousness of god in christ Jesus. and he said by his stripes you were healed so it was already done two thousand years ago the work is finished by his stripes you are healed amen in the name of the lord jesus christ so jesus will have what that is what jesus did he 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 did amazing work for us for sin he became sin for us who knew no sin he did amazing work for us for healing and the bible says now he took our uh, all the stripes that was on his body was for our healing he did amazing work for us for deliverance to deliver us from the hand of the devil blotted out all the handwriting of ordinances that was against us which was contrary to us he took it out of our way nearly to his cross having his arm principality and power and deliver us from the hand of the devil so the old man and also the that we used to cause us to, to sin jesus nailed that old man on the cross amen in jesus name and now our freedom from the cause of the law because the bible says sickness disease poverty all is a cause of the law so christ came to redeem us from the cause of the law by becoming a cause for us cause is everyone who hang on the tree jesus hung on the tree so that the blessing of abraham shall might come unto us the gentile through jesus christ that we might receive the promise of the spirit through faith amen in the name of the lord jesus christ so now we are redeemed from the cause of the law we are redeemed from the cause of sickness we are redeemed from the cause of poverty disease infirmity we are redeemed from all those causes now jesus christ brought us the blessing the blessing and prosperity came through what jesus did on calvary so by faith you can have access because it is already done because 
it is it was done before the foundation of the world and jesus came now to manifest now to destroy the works of the devil the bible said in the book of first uh, john said that uh, since from the beginning satan was sin but jesus christ now came now to come to destroy the works of the devil so the works of the devil were uh, jesus christ came now to destroy the works of the devil when he went to the cross of calvary and died for us so today you can enter god's rest by believing amen and god who is able to do exceedingly uh, abundantly above all that we ask or think according to his power that work in us according to his holy spirit that live in us amen in the name of the lord jesus christ according to that uh, to the bible even talk about if the spirit of him that raised christ from the dead dwells in you he that raised christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal body amen in jesus name let me read some few scriptures today to bring you your healing claim your healing today with faith as you hear this word of god and then take your healing the book of psalms 41 3 say i will strengthen you upon the bed of languishing i will send all your bed in sickness glory be to god so you receive your healing today according to the word of god the bible says i send my word and heal them and i deliver them from their destruction so as i send the word of god today for your healing remember that it was it is already done we are standing on this side of the cross it is finished already i am the health of your countenance and your god psalm 43 verse 5 no plague shall come near your dwelling psalm 91 3. i will satisfy you with long life and show you my salvation psalm 91 16. i healed all diseases psalm 103 verse 3. i send my words and i healed you and i deliver you from your destruction psalm 107 20. you shall not die but live and declare the works of the lord say today with me i shall not die i shall live to declare the works of the lord in the name of jesus that is psalm 118 17. i healed your broken heart and i bind up all your wounds so that is for spiritual healing for healing that you cannot see in your spirit man your broken heart your soul healing for your soul the bible said jesus is our great shepherd and he healed the soul he restored our soul amen in the name of jesus christ so i i ask the lord today to heal your broken hearted for any disappointment from any situation and bind up all your spiritual wounds in the name of jesus christ the years of the bible says here that is psalm 147 3 the years of your life shall be multiplied shall be many so i declare the years of your life shall be many amen in the name of jesus christ so that is proverb 4 verse 10. trusting me trusting the lord bring health to your navel and marrow to your bones proverb 3 8 my words are life unto you and health and medicine to all your flesh proverb 4 24 proverb 4 22 to 24 my good report or my gospel make your bones fat proverb 15 30 my pleasant words are sweet to your soul and health to your bones that is proverb 16 24 my joy is your strength yes that word is amazing the joy of the lord is your strength so you have to be joyful a merry heart the bible says does good like medicine nehemiah 8 10 proverbs 17 22. the eyes of the blind your eyes if it's blind you say the eyes of the blind shall be open and also the eyes of him that sees shall also not be deemed isaiah 32 3 35 5. the ears of the deaf shall be unstopped i command your ears be open today in the name of the lord jesus christ of nazareth and also the ears of the ears of them that that do not hear shall also hearken there's wonderful power in the blood there is power power 
wondrous walking power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wondrous walking power in the precious blood of the Lamb. Yes, he said the tongue of the dumb shall sing. And also the tongue of the stammerer shall be ready to speak plainly. Isaiah 35, 6 and also Isaiah 32, 4. The lame shall also leap as a heart. Isaiah 35, 6. I will recover you and make you to live. I am ready to save you. Isaiah 38, 16 and 20. I give power to the faint. I increase strength to them that have no might. Isaiah 40, 29. I will also renew your strength. I will also strengthen and help you. Isaiah 40, 31. Isaiah 41, 10. To your old age and to your gray hair, I will carry you and I will deliver you. Isaiah 46, 4. I bore your sicknesses. Isaiah 35, 4. I carried your pain. Isaiah 53, 4. I was put to sickness for you. Isaiah 53, 10. With my stripes, you are healed. Isaiah 53, 5. I will heal you. Isaiah 57, 19. Your light shall break forth as the morning, and your health shall spring forth speedily. Amen. Say it. My health shall spring forth speedily in the name of Jesus. I will restore, I will restore health. That is Isaiah 58, 8. I will restore health unto you, and I will heal you of all your wounds, says the Lord of course. Jeremiah 30, 17. Hallelujah. I will restore health. God wants to restore your health today. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, of whom you have come to take refuge, want to restore your health today in the name of Jesus. Be healed, brothers and sisters. Be healed, brethren, in the Lord. Be healed, body of Christ, in the name of Jesus. Be made whole, body, spirit, soul, in the name of Jesus. I pray, God, wish above all things that you should prosper and be in health, and if even as your soul prosper in the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, I thank you for everyone that listening today that you will bind their wounds, that you will bring their health and strength and cure because you deliver, you are a deliverer, you delivered, you rescued, you show science and wonders in heaven and on earth. We trust you. We thank you for your healing balm. You are the balm of Gideon. We thank you for binding the wounds of our brothers and sisters in the name of Jesus. I pray for complete healing and wholeness in the name of Jesus Christ. Angels of God, take healing in your wings and bring it to any brother and sister in the body of Christ who is sick, who is in the hospital, who is in the dying bed, who is in the room, whether it is the smallest sickness or headache, or even with the biggest sickness, I say be healed in the name of Jesus. I cast the sickness from the root in the name of Jesus Christ. God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who we went about doing good and healing all they that were oppressed of the devil in the name of Jesus. I break the spirit of oppression in Jesus' name. I bind the strong man that bring oppression for sickness, disease in Jesus' name. Be fit, be made well, be made whole in the name of Jesus. Even in your mind be healed in the name of the Lord Jesus. I break the cause of infirmity. I break the cause of sickness and disease in Jesus name I break the cause of weakness in the name of Jesus Christ I break the cause of depression in Jesus Christ mighty name be healed in Jesus name father I thank you for your healing power they made your people whole they are your body make them strong to do your work to do your will I give you all the glory forever and forever in the name of Jesus be healed in Jesus Christ mighty name I call you whole I call you healed in brothers and sisters 
in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for healing them. Thank you for binding up our wounds in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for bringing us health and cure, Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord, in Jesus Christ's name, that this healing remain permanent in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, brothers and sisters, every one of you that joined today to pray and to listen. I ask for your complete healing and wholeness in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus has already finished the work, so you claim your healing. You receive it. Second Peter, you go to that scripture and see it. It was already done on the cross. It's already 2,000 years ago. It's already past tense. We are on this side of the cross. We are not on this side before the cross. We are standing on this side. We are new covenant Christian, and by his stripes we were healed, and by his wounds we are now healed in Jesus' name. So take your healing and start to believe it and thank the Lord Jesus and say thank you Lord I'm here in Jesus name don't complain anymore and just say I'm here I'm made whole in the name of Jesus from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet in Jesus name I am here in the name of Jesus the cause is broken for sickness disease infirmity and weakness you are here in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ God wants to make you whole it is God will that you are healed and made whole in the name of the Lord Jesus I cover everyone with the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ father thank you and put the whole armor of God brothers and sisters in Jesus name because the enemy is a thief he come to steal kill and destroy he also steal the health steal money from people who go to the hospital and sick and weak because he is a thief so you can stop him today by believing the gospel and rebuke him in the name of Jesus Christ tell him he has no place tell him that he has cannot put anything else you are forgiven and by the wounds of Jesus Christ you were healed tell him the scripture in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of us. I will see you in the next audio and in the next video. God bless every one of you. Shalom in Jesus name. If you are new here, you need a prayer request, put it down in Jesus name. If you are here from anything, leave your prayer request down, leave your testimony. God bless you in Jesus name. If you are also new, subscribe down below in the name of Jesus Christ. Put thumbs up, share this uh, video. God bless you for that. You are subscribing for, to the Lord in jesus name just to contribute in this channel is just to subscribe and god bless you for that in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ shalom in jesus name thank you